Kate, how do I look? Great. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope that you are doing well in this corn time. Thankfully, I haven't gone crazy yet, but I'm, I'm, I've approached it, but I'm not quite there. For those of you that don't know, I am an Enneagram 7. And for those of you that don't know what the Enneagram is, it's just like basically a personality test type of thing. And I like it a lot. I took a quiz and everything and it told me I was a different one, but I like pretty much self-diagnosed myself as a seven. Um, and let me tell you why. This is what, this is a little bit about sevens, just briefly. Sevens are extroverted, optimistic, versatile, and spontaneous, playful, high-spirited, and practical. They can also misapply their many talents, becoming over extended, scattered, and undisciplined, which is very accurate for myself. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I qualify for the like quarantine thing because I've been like out of my house like at least once a day. Hope that you're all staying healthy and well during this time. During this whole quarantine, I've done a lot of things. Um, I actually have been staying like pretty busy even though I've been like pretty much just in my house the whole time. My sister has been here the whole time too. She's a senior at Anderson. And so we both kind of like came back home at the same time and we both had to like move out of our dorms and move everything back home. That was sad because neither of us wanted to leave already. I mean, obviously, because we like living on campus and everything um, and it's April, but it is what it is and we're still having a good time and making the most of it. My brother just came home this weekend too. He lives in DC. We're watching a lot of movies and eating a lot of ice cream and we've had family dinner like every night, which is is not rare in our house, but like it's rare that all of us are here. So that's why it is kind of rare. We've done so many home improvement projects, like so many. It just happened to be at the same time. They had been planning like for several months to get um, hardwood floors in their bedroom upstairs and like the like half of our bathroom in the hallway. That was like the very beginning uh, when like all this stuff was going down. And so this was before I even had moved back home. So I had to move back and like all of their furniture and stuff was like in my room and there was just stuff everywhere and like we had to all move back so we were just all like <laughs> but um that week was still like we weren't they didn't give us like the shelter in place order yet so we were still like seeing people and that kind of thing so that was good that it happened that week. I redid my whole room in here. Um, this corner actually was very full of stuff, but now it has a nice little chair. And I actually just put this chair in here yesterday, so I'll be spending lots of time, hopefully reading. I'm trying to make myself read. I haven't done it yet. We're what, like almost four weeks into this thing? And I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to make myself start reading so that I will eventually maybe like it and do it just naturally. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I call it my oasis. So I wanted it to be like a nice place where I like don't, like I can be up here for like a long time, obviously, cause we're here like all the time and not just get like tired of being in the same place and have like different little areas to be in. We've been driving around getting a lot of coffee, so much coffee because you know, they gotta, they gotta keep their businesses open so we're trying to support them as much as we can um, by just like going by and getting a cup of coffee, you know, doing whatever we can to help them stay in business and other small businesses like that too. Going to the grocery store a lot and I've like run out of videos to watch on YouTube and I'm probably subscribed to like a hundred people. So that might be an issue, but oh my gosh, my newest addiction, this one's bad is TikTok and it's just so funny like it's just constant funny entertainment like I just you just never get tired of it because there's always something new and if you haven't looked at TikTok before then you don't necessarily have to like download the app but if you even just look up like TikTok compilations on YouTube or something 
it's just funny. It's just funny stuff. Not only have I been spending a lot of time like on my phone and that kind of thing, but also it's been nice to be able to have uninterrupted time in God's word and just digging in and studying it, not thinking about like the next thing, which is how it should be anyway. So that's been really nice. And I've also gotten to do weekly worship live streams with some of the people from my church. We do like a live stream on our student ministry Instagram. It's at Edwards Road Students if you're interested in joining us on this Wednesday at 7 and that's been super cool to be able to do that and really just show people that we can still praise and worship our creator even though we're going through such a weird season right now. I also have been spending so much time on the back porch like probably 50% of my time on the back porch with my sister or my mom sometimes my dad comes out here too and our little pup Bailey she's looking at me now I'm actually on the back porch recording this voiceover so <laughs> but um yeah it's the weather has been so nice so my mom is spying on me <laughs> um just messing with the dog is fun too so lots of videos of her just wanted to give like a little update and insert like a little fun videos and stuff of how quarantine's been going um so if you made it through this rant you're the realist and thanks for watching and uh, staying faithful to my channel and my videos. I appreciate you and I hope that you're all doing well and I'd love to hear from you so leave comments and let me know how you're doing. But yeah, I'll be posting um, some more videos and stuff more frequently because we all have time. So just stay tuned for the next one. Bye!